Hello everyone, I am Raju Kasu from Nepal. I am a student at Center Department of Physics, Tirwan University of Nepal. Okay, today I am going to discuss about Lissajous figure. Actually, Lissajous figure is resultant pact stressed out by the particle when it is acted upon uh, by two simple harmonic motion which are a rectangle to each other. That means uh, the propagation of two simple harmonics uh, must be perpendicular to each other and then uh, let's uh, start for uh, two sinusoidal wave having the same time period and same phase uh, at first uh, we should uh, draw two circular two circles that is a and then circle b uh, the circle a represents the wave propagating in X direction and then circle B represents the sinusoidal wave uh, propagating in Y direction. So these uh, two wave motion or sinusoidal wave motion are perpendicular uh, to each other. Um, here the radius of circle A and the radius of circle B are equal. That means amplitude of wave propagating in S direction and the amplitude of wave propagating in Y direction are equal and uh, but you can make a uh, circle uh, of different diameters to represent the wave of different amplitudes ok now uh, divide these two circles two circle into four equal parts four equal parts and uh, you can divide uh, these circles more than four parts uh, but but uh, for simplicity i have divided these uh, two circles uh, into four equal parts uh, drawing this line as shown in figure uh, okay from the con condition of uh, same time period that is same time period and uh, so for the one complete circular distance for the circle a and the first circle B the time period for both circle and that is uh, time period for the uh, both perpendicularly vibrated sinusoidal wave is same so you can write time period for this uh, uh, wave providing the acceleration also T and time period for the providing propagation of sinusoidal time period for the programming of sinusoidal wave in Y direction also and then here horizontal wave starts from this point and then vertical wave is start from this point that is the two initial point for the horizontal uh, wave and the vertical wave and uh, here uh, here both circles have or both vibration or both signs should have same time period uh, and uh, so uh, <clears throat> for the point time period will be t by 4 and for this point the time period will be t by 2 and for this point the time period will be 3 t by 4 and uh, for this point time period will be t in the same way for the point time period will be t by 4 and this point for this point time period will be t by 2 and then next and for this point time period will be 3 t by 4 and for this point time period will be uh, t uh, here the phase difference between two perpendicularly vibrated uh, sinusoidal uh, waves is uh, same or zero uh, the phase difference is zero in between two perpendicular vibrated wave so initially these two wave meet with each other these two waves start from here yes and then so particle at this point is charged to vibrate and resultant position of the particle when the both vibrate both vibration act on it is represented by the intersected point of these two lines drawn from this point and from this point this is the resultant position of the particle at this point and then after a uh, time period t by 4 the horizontal wave is at point at this point and the vertical wave is 
at this point and at that time particle is at at this position and particle is in this position and then the resultant position of this particle resultant position of this particle also represented by the intersecting point of these two lines drawn from this point drawn from this point and so the path trace out by the particle is from initial point to this point and then uh, again for the time period t by 4 the wave is at point this wave is at point this and then next wave is at point this then the intersected point of two lines drawn from this point drawn from this point are this and this drawn this, this uh, two drawn lines are this and this then intersected point is this point and which represents the uh, resultant position of the particle resultant position of the particle which are situated at this point and at this point this is represented by this uh, intersected uh, intersected point of these two lines so the motion of the particle from this point to this point okay then further t by 4 time period further t by 4 time period the horizontal sinusoidal wave reach at this point and then vertical one is reach at this point in this uh, situation the resultant position of the particle the resultant position of the particle is represented by the intersection point of this line drawn from these two points is this so the motion of the um, particle back to this point again from this point back to this point from this point and then now for the uh, furthermore a t by 4 time period the wave reaches at the at at this point and this um, vertical wave reaches from the here point from this point to this point and the um, and completes uh, one cycle and at that time position of particle is represented by the intersecting point of this two line drawn from this two point that means the intersecting point is this and then <clears throat> and then particle is back to back to initial position making uh, from from this uh, from this path just out by this particle we can see that the particle uh, makes a makes a straight line okay thank you